You've heard the phrase going green, but you actually know what that means. Going green is a term used when we utilize the natural and alternative resources to take the place of those that have proven to be damaging to the environment. In this edition of Portfolio, we'll show you how the Port of Los Angeles, one of the busiest ports in North America, has become the leader in changing the way the world envisions the environmental footprint of the transportation industry. Chances are that everything you're wearing, eating, or sitting on has made its way to you through the port of Los Angeles. Shipping has a big imprint on the environment. At least 90% of all our goods make their way here by ship. So you think shipping is an old school way of doing business? Think about it. How much could you really pack into an SUV, a moving truck, or even a plane? Estimates are that the shipping industry moves about 6 billion tons of goods a year with 190 million tons of that rolling to the port of Los Angeles. Enter the hybrid tug. You know, it's like a hybrid car, but larger, cooler, and stronger. These babies can pull in the ocean liner with tons of stuff while utilizing the simplicity of electric power. I met up with the folks who created this little tug that could to see what all the hype is about. Hi, I'm Jerry, and I'm the port engineer for FOSS Maritime. Jim Russell, port captain, FOSS Maritime. Hi, Steve Bobel, FOSS Maritime, Deckhand. Hi, I'm Gary, I'm the Chief Engineer. Hi, I'm Mike Lonich, I'm the Captain of the Carol and Dorothy. Welcome aboard. So Jerry, beautiful boat here. What makes this a green tug? Well, what makes this a green tug is that we, rather than run around with two large diesel engines and a generator all the time, we've managed to take all the power and put it into one source and only use the power required to move the boat. Right now you hear all the, uh, the talk about hybrid cars on the road, but I haven't heard anything about the water, so this is kind of the first tug of its kind. This is the first hybrid tug in the world that oh, has wow. batteries and a, um, a system to manage the power that you only put the emissions up that's required for whatever particular job we're doing. So why is it important to have that green element here in the ports of LA? All of the harbor craft have been challenged to lower their emissions. FOSS looked at this and, and we saw that we could probably reduce our emissions by quite a bit. And from what I've seen here in the last few years of all the different things we've done, and now this included, the harbor's much cleaner, it's getting better all the time. Maybe you can show me some of the things that make this a green tug. Okay, well the best place to start is in the engine room. All right, good, I'm there. Okay, come on James, here it is. Up here, there's 126 batteries, weighs 18 tons. Wow. Um, this is one of the low emission diesel generator sets right here. This is one of the main engines. If you look around behind you, you can see the touchscreen panel oh, that controls wow. the hybrid this system. This is high tech, man. Oh yeah, this is different than anything else we've got. Wow, this is great. As you look down here, you see the switchboard, it's 17 feet long. Right. And it takes all the different energy sources on the boat the batteries, the generators, the motor generators, and it all feeds them into one place. Right. And then the computer decides how we're going to put that power out. We have clean energy right now because we're running on the batteries. Right. Everything's running. Back in the old days, or three years ago, this thing would have to be running full diesel power to have the energy on the boat. Every other tugboat in the harbor right now would have three engines running to leave the dock. Right. The boats tied up right here that look just like this one that are non-hybrids, Right. they have about 65 liters of emissions going up just to leave the dock. Wow, that's this really This one amazing. has either zero or 11 liters of emissions to wow. leave the dock. That is really cool. Okay, this is really the heart blood of the whole idea. This is called a motor generator. And what this does is we can take the power of the, the vessel, the battery power, the generator power, uh, the main engine power, and uh, the, the switchboard and the computer we were talking about earlier, and we can run this thing as an, uh, an electric boat, like a little model. We can also have the ship pulling us and regenerate power. It's a motor generator, so it's you know truly a hybrid, like where the brakes recharge on a, on a Prius. This one actually uses its propellers, and it can recharge. And it's working beyond our expectations. Oh, that's fantastic. I see the happiness in your face, man. It's good. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go up to the pilot house and see who drives this green girl. How you doing? I'm James. Nice to meet you, You're the you captain guys. in this beautiful tug. Yes, I am. Yeah, all right. It looks like you got a nice spot up here with all the windows. Well, it's beautiful. I, I like to say people work 20 years to get the corner office. 
I have all four corners. Yeah, that's nice. Big view. And it looks like this is where all the fun is up here, man. You got all this gear. Yeah, we get to do all the good stuff up here. How do you drive this thing? I mean, I was expecting a big wheel in front of you. Where's that? Most people do. This is an azimuth thing stern drive. So there's no uh, actual rudder. It's, the best way to explain it is think of two outboard motors stuck to the bottom of the hull and I can turn them 360. Wow. So I can almost hover around a ship like a flying saucer. Wow, so it's pretty responsive. Very responsive. I turn on a dime. Turn on a dime, stop on a dime, I can stop within a, sh a ship lane, or a boat lane, actually. Hey, you're having fun, man. I'm having a great time. That's high tech. <laughs> <Right. laughs> okay, now that the goods are in, how do we park the ship, unload it, and still keep it green? Enter the Clean Truck and Electric Truck Programs. The Clean Truck Program is the first of its kind in the nation. Basically, older trucks retired by their owner can find their place right here. The dumpster where they become a crumpled mass of iron. By 2012, any truck that does not meet 2007 EPA standards will become extinct and refused entry into our port. Busted, not allowed, no way, no how. Tell me about the uh, clean truck program. Well, the clean truck program is part of the Clean Air Action Plan, which is a big initiative that both the Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach did. And the goal of the Clean Air Action Plan is to reduce emissions from all the major sources in the ports. So that's trains, ships, it's cargo handling equipment, it's the tugboats in the harbor, and it's the trucks. When you compare the emissions of a very, very old truck, say a 1984 truck, with a brand new 2007 emissions compliant truck, it's a dramatic improvement, wow. well over 90%. What does that mean when how it relates to the uh to health or health of people that live in the in the area or in the community? Well, it's fantastic. I mean, the oldest trucks are the biggest polluters. And all trucks, the older ones, release, they, their exhaust it contains something called diesel particulate matter. Diesel particulate matter is the result of the combustion process in a diesel engine. And what happens is the state of California has figured out that that diesel particulate matter is a very strong source of potential source of cancer. Right. So by cleaning up the trucks and reducing this diesel particulate matter, will have will reduce the potential for cancer causing from these emissions for the community. Right. When we're done, we'll be it'll be between 80 and 90 percent reduction in the amount of diesel particulate matter wow. that, that comes into the community. That's fantastic. It is fantastic. Tell me a little bit about the, the cash incentive program, why people bring in their trucks or their uh, their their metal to come and have it recycled. Well the cash incentive program is a, is a really a win-win for both the port and the trucking community. Some of the people may not want to necessarily continue in drainage, or they may have a truck they want to get rid of, so we assure that they get $5,000, which gives them some money in their pocket, and, and then we can be certain that the truck is actually scrapped. So we know that it's gone from the port, and we know it's gone from the region. We can be certain that it's no longer giving out harmful emissions in the entire region, not just in the port, but in all of Southern California. Right. So it's a great program because it's a very clear indicator that this truck is gone, and the truckers, of course, appreciate it because they get $5,000. Right. I think you said it best. It's a win-win situation. Yeah. Thanks, Chris, for showing me. It's amazing out here. Think you're hip on what's green and what's not? then name the top three alternative sources of power. I'll give you the answer by the end of the show. <laughs>